To this video song frontier video my name is Jay Wakefield and um, today on Off Center Frame Productions uh, we have an unboxing or rather an unwrapping of something so I have um, everything that I need to do the unwrapping I have the package I have a knife now, the usual health and safety rules apply. Um, you can only use a knife for its intended purpose of either cutting food or cutting open packages. But remember, once you've cut open your package, make sure to wash the knife afterwards as you have no idea where the package has been. Moreover, if you were to use this knife for criminal activity, statistics show that you will become a statistic and uh, that has been statistically proven that you will become a crime statistic and uh, to be honest statistically speaking people generally don't want to become statistical statistics anyway not only do I have the package and the knife I've also thought about health and safety and in that spirit, I have a nice, freshly made cup of tea. <clears throat> this is essential if you want to unbox anything. <clears throat> Fantastic. Glad I had that. And now, the cup of tea segment was brought to you by Scottish Blind, the, f the maker of brilliant pyramid tea bags. Remember, PG Tips did not come up with the permit tea bag, no matter how much those apes on TV lie to you. Anyway, yeah, it was Scottish blend. Let's unpackage this packaged package. Although, to be honest, I don't think I'm going to be needing to use the knife much, if at all. See, do not use excessive force. I'm talking to you, the British government. If you want a Trident that badly, get the Trident Cyberblade 3D. Pretty good graphics card for older games. Eee, it's like Christmas morning, so it is. Oh, more newspaper. Oh, it's uh, stuck behind this obstruction. I wonder what that is. Hmm. Right, okay. Let's uh, see about getting this uh, out. Okay. And here it is. We have oh, some newspaper. Let's have a look. It's oh, it's a classified section. So uh, we have someone selling Carlton blinds, uh, houses, dogs, and pets. Look, we've got an English Springer Spaniel. Why would we want an English one? Seriously, all they'll do all day is kind of just sit there and go, Oh, yes, rawr! Oh, yes! <laughs> I mean, if you, want, if you want a quintessentially English dog, why don't you get Winston Churchill from those insurance ads? Oh, yes! Anyway, I suppose, um, let me have a look. 
Um, poetry for sale. Lovely, lovely poetry. Could be like uh, Billy Carr. Could have a, my own chicken coop. Actually, this newspaper is from the south of England. What's this going to do? What could this going to do for me? I'm in the north of Scotland. It's Chronicle Thursday, and it's not the Computer Chronicles. I think I've bought the wrong paper. Press and journal. Wise up. <coughs> no, I'm not saying the press and journal should wise up. I'm saying that the people... You should buy the press and journal. You should wise up and buy it. It's good paper. Right. However, they've sent me a free gift, which I suppose makes up for the, uh, me receiving the wrong newspaper. Let's have a wee look at this in here. Hmm. Well, it's got a clover leaf and it's got an old style computer leaf. Hmm. And now, there's something else in here as well. I don't know what it could be. automatically assume my auntie's uh, mad and I get very, very scared. Now let me get it Aha! Now this is what I think it is. This is a ThinkPad. Moreover, specifically, this is a ThinkPad T23. Now you're thinking Jay, you've already got one of those. Why do you need another one? Well, I do have some news here. This is not my ThinkPad T23. I just have it. I just had it delivered here. This ThinkPad T23. Some of you, will, of course, remember the story of my new VSF ident. Uh, be turned to purple, uh, maroon, and lilac. Now, turns out as we bet inaccurate with the maroon, that should have been dark purple. So there. <coughs> now, the um, <coughs> person whose hair that dark maroon represented, well. She is a very close friend of mine, and um, she's asked me to, you know, kind of say what, who she is. So um, this person is called Keza. Now, recently, 
I introduced her to my good friend Billy Corr, Matthew H16, uh, the Paramount Galaxy ML3, um, Chris Master One, although I'm starting to regret, and now I'm only getting on. <laughs> she really enjoys Rocket Waves. Um, and all of the other good people, Gep and Tube, um, a randomer called Declan, uh, my good friend William, and um, you know, there's a lot. Yeah. So it's um, there's you know, and um, when I showed her, you know, we're as as uh, you're probably all aware, as you're probably aware. Um, all of us guys are into uh, old computers, and I was showing Keza my ThinkPad T twenty three and um, you know Luke Miller's video and Billy Corr's video of the same machine, and she said, "Oh, I really like it. I really want one." So I helped her go and get one. In fact, um, I chose which one she should get based on you know kind of what she wanted to do, and I have this you know, and uh, she has had it sent here. So that I could actually, um, you know, set it up for her. Best thing to do is to not have the previous owner's Windows installation. I always like to start fresh. This machine is gonna, um, this machine is gonna be installed with Windows ninety eight and Word XP, so that she can uh, use it for uh, writing stuff. She's a really good writer, and um, you know, and to play some old games, you know just like uh, the rest of us. She's, she's a, well, she is an awesome person. And, you know, to be honest, I wanted to get an awesome laptop for her to go with her awesomeness. So, um, that's what this is. This is the um, IBM ThinkPad T23 laptop for my good friend, Keza. And um, if you want to have a look at it, um, on the left hand side we have um, PC card slots, 2 type 2 or 1 type 3. Now these can be used um, for adding functionality to it such as uh, wireless internet. Um, you could add something like a card reader, you know a lot of uh, peripherals can be added. Um, you also have um, oh, I don't believe this one does have the infrared port. Um, but you do have headphone, line in, and microphone. Then on the front, you just have um, the uh, stereo speakers, pretty good for what they are. And then you've got the lead catches. This will, um, you know, kind of pulled in the correct direction. These will actually allow access to the laptop. Quite amazing what you can do. Um, then on the other side, you have, um, oh, behind the headphone, uh, bef behind the sound ports, you do have the hard disk caddy. This machine seems, looks to be in fantastic condition. You know, it's really worth every penny. The lead doesn't even need rejuvenated or anything. It just feels, oh, it's beautiful. No talcum powder needed for this machine. Um, on the other side is a DVD, ROM, CD writer combination drive. And then on the back, um, let me just have a look, let me just kind of get my bearings here. You have S-Video out for uh, putting the machine to a TV. RS-232 serial, this can be used to connect uh, really old devices. You have a uh, parallel printer port for connecting to older printers and other such peripherals. Zip drives really old CD writers or external hard drives, seriously, you probably don't want a parallel or external hard drive. You'd be waiting for years. VGA for outputting to an external computer monitor. 56 mode import for um, connecting to an old time internet connection. Wired network or ethernet. A power socket, two USB ports and a PS2 mouse and keyboard port. So I'm really quite impressed. It's a third party powered adapter though, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it out with uh, one of my genuine IBM ones, because I'm nice. Um, so here's a powered adapter. 
what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to power it up now and uh, we'll, we'll have a wee look at it. Well, here is a smoke test of the uh, IBM ThinkPad T23. Um, everything seems to work fine on it. And um, it's got 512 megs of RAM, 1.2 gigahertz processor. And I've got to tell you, I don't know if the camera will focus right enough on this, but um, as you can see, this is either a new track point or the existing one. It's not been worn down. I mean, mine's worn down, pure smooth like. But this one, wow, it's, it's just, I don't know want to use it because it's in just that good a condition. And uh, some of, they've upgraded this to a 40 gig hard drive as well. I wonder if the CPU's been uprated, you know? And it certainly seems to have been. I know someone's been inside it for something because the, um, if you have a look underneath here, this screw hole would normally be covered. But um, it's actually been it's actually been opened up. So I, I think the CPU in this has actually been uprated. I think this machine has had a proper top-down rejuvenation. The screen is absolutely beautiful. There's absolutely no, um, you know, there's there's just absolutely no problems with it at all. Um, you know, it's it's really quite smooth all the way across. Um, the seller says it did glow red. It does glow red when you first start it up, but um, you know that that is perfectly normal. Um, but now, I don't know if you can see it because the camera lights on because I'm a bit of a derp. Um, you know, it's it's white as anything. It really is. It's and the keys have got nice travel. Let's have a look at um, let's have a look at the spacebar and kind of see how worn it is. So it obviously does have some sort of wear on it, but not that much. It's, do you know, this, uh, it does seem, it's, it's brilliant. I love it. I really do. And, um, you know, and the the woman who sold it was absolutely fantastic. And, um, wow, just wow, 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 wow. I love this machine. Um, obviously Windows XP's no stain on it. I'm going to put Windows 98 on it, and I think what we're going to do is, you know, kind of get some old games going, stuff like that, and like I said, put Office, uh, put Word 2002 on there, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, 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 bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, and away we go. Um, so, um, yeah. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and reformat it. I will group back with you, um, probably in another video. So, um, thanks for watching this one. Like I said, yep, yeah, okay, uh, thank you.